Hey guys, Cow here bringing you another video. This one is going to be week 16 on the Strategic Rush series. Uh, we're currently falling a little bit behind our upgrade times here. Gotta get these uh, army camps up and gotta get some of our troops upgraded. Uh, because we're not focusing on our heroes super hard right now, I think what I want to be doing here is of course upgrading these wall breakers getting them closer so we can start sneaky goblin farming that will be great for us uh, especially now that we have access to this warden we'll be able to just kind of farm it up really quickly and not have to worry too much about um yeah just not have to worry too much about anything really we have the eternal tome that we have been upgrading so we have it at seven seconds but Overall, we're just going to be upgrading uh, whatever we can. We can actually drop the Warden here. Might as well with our loot, but I think we're going to save it for this army camp here. want to get them all down so we can have as much space as possible. We're also upgrading the Spell Factory. So, the nice thing is these heroes are very low when it comes to loot needed to upgrade them. So, even though we are a little bit falling behind it isn't going to be the end of the world right now we're just going to be looking for just any base to hit we're not really uh picky about where we're going so we're just going to keep on three starring we want to keep on three starring because uh just down here the loot is pretty bad and uh, just being able to uh, get out of this league and get higher up and preferably into champions to get those really good uh, bonuses when it comes to the the ores will be very nice. We'll probably start switching over to Sneaky Goblins actually really soon as we do now have access to them. We just don't have access to the Super Wall Breakers yet. Need one more level on those. But overall, after that, we should be golden. We might actually just hammer it, just so that we can start doing it now. So I don't have to worry too much about uh, wasting time or needing to farm up later. It will take off a lot of pressure of needing to farm up a lot, especially now that we've been, of course, a little bit busy. Uh, and just through getting busy, it seems that the easiest way to stay on top of the raids is to just sneaky golem farm get high up in those trophy ranges seems to be the best way at least for me to quickly log on snipe out a few things and then log off and that will give me enough loot to just stay on top of things as we are easily staying on top of things on the rush series without even uh using um without even logging on too much. We didn't get a three star here, but that's because our troops are quite bad here. Um, honestly, I should probably just be doing this, getting ourselves that little bit of extra firepower to push through these bases, um, especially at Town Hall 10. It should be easy. We shouldn't really be uh, missing out on any uh, raids here. So let's just drop the 10, 10, 10. And uh, I was going to be using this attack strategy mostly because it just is the best one at Town Hall 10. Not the best, that would be an overstatement, but it is uh, a powerful spam no-think army that can crush a lot of bases that aren't prepared for it. And because of the war scene right now being a lot of people just spamming the, the war log, you're going to be getting a lot of people that aren't as experienced and will fall prey to these spam attacks. And you can get yourself some easy, perfect wars um, out there if you are, of course, Town Hall 10 is at the, the peak of your list. Of course, this won't work against if you have a Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11 plus in your clan, as this is, of course, Town Hall 10. And past Town Hall 10, this doesn't really work. It can work at Town Hall 11 with the Warden um, and Town Hall 11 troops, but we do definitely like the Pekka Bow Bat 
when it comes to war attacks. And if you want me to make a video specifically on the Pekka Bobat, I will be happy to make that as it is my go-to attack strategy. So, I'm actually just going to use a book, uh, a hammer of fighting here. Ooh, it would use up a lot of our stuff. <laughs> it might be actually quite painful to see that happen as it's only 4 million. But... I think it would be nice just to boost these up right away and just get it done here and show you all how to uh, cook it up here. So I like the 12 wall breakers. I like having it so that it has the perfect amount of space to ratio. So if you don't have enough space, just drop a wall breaker or two and then just keep on going. Oh, it looks like we don't have invisibility spells. So I guess we're just going to be doing pure jumps. And hoping it works out that makes it so that actually if we're going pure jump then we don't actually need any wall breakers dang we actually just wasted a lot of uh, loot here and uh, there's probably gonna be people cringing in the in the comments now but because of that I think we're just gonna bring six uh, wall breakers for the sake of it you'll never know when you'll need them so yeah that's gonna be the progress for today short video uh, we have plenty of things we need to get done when it comes to upgrade, uh, things getting upgraded. Still need the clan castle, still need the army camp. A lot of elixir based upgrades are going to be needed. Uh, we're going to be farming a bit more, of course. Let's see, what else do we need from, we're going to be doing peccabo bat attacks. So actually, because we're not going to be dropping the heroes for some time, I think we should take the time and just start upgrading things that we will be needing for the bat spell tax being the bat spell. So hopefully you all did enjoy the video and I hope to see you next week for week 17 of the strategic rush series. So hopefully you all did enjoy the video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.